What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing the review that many of you guys have asked for. The Bomb Tech Wedge Review. Let's do it now on JP Golf. First off guys, if you're enjoying the content of the channel, I would ask that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments below. Uh, you know, my mom, she called me uh, last week. Hi mom. So yeah, last week I tell my mom about the channel. She called me and asked me how much it was gonna cost her to subscribe to the channel. So that's the great thing about YouTube guys. There is no fee to subscribe to the channel. So hit that subscribe button so that you'll know when I release new videos. Now, it's starting to rain here. So let's jump into this review, do a couple of pros and cons, and then we'll video a couple shots. So first pro about these Bomb Tech wedges is the cost. You get three wedges probably for cheaper than you do your major manufactured uh, clubs such as your Vokey wedges, Ping, TaylorMade. These are probably gonna be cheaper for three than for one of their wedges. So the first con with these is that you can't get fit. The wedge pack is gonna come with 52, 56, 60 degree wedges, and that's it. You can't change the wedge uh, loft, you can't change the bounce. This is what it is, this is a standard. Um, unlike going and getting fit for a particular wedge and being able to customize the loft range or the balance on the wedge. The second pro on these is just a look. These are the blacked out ones. They also have a volcano torch ones, which I never checked out, but it has the black and the grooves are in green. So that's a pretty cool touch. And then on the back, we have the Bomb Tech stamp. So con number two is gonna go hand in hand with that uh, finish. You know, as you use these things, that black is going to fade some. The grooves, the green uh, may start to fade. Um, actually, one of the ones I used, uh, the bottom two grooves are starting to kind of fade out. So um, as you use them, you're going to get some wear and tear. I think it's to be expected on any any wedges, but um, that's just one of the cons that's going to happen if you're expecting this thing to uh, be in pristine condition as you use it and that black to stay as black it is, as it is and the, wedge, uh, the grooves and the wedges to stay that green. That's not going to happen. So the pro number three to these things is just the build quality. They feel great. They look great. Again, you're going to get wear and tear, uh, but when these things come to you new, man, they look and feel like a million bucks. And for con number three, that's really all I've got, is really that you can't get custom fit. And again, the wear and tear that may show, some people may not be into that. Um, but again, for the cost of these, it's great. Let's hit a few shots and see how we do. Just so you guys know on these shots I'm hitting, I'm gonna be going for that pin there more towards the center of the green. Um, and there's four different ones, but I wanna kinda stake the same. I don't wanna be the person who uh, hits a shot and ends up pulling it to a different flag and be like, yeah, I meant to do that. So everything I'm shooting for, it's gonna be mostly there to that flag towards the middle of the uh, green there. So let's start off here. Got the 52 degree wedge again. I am not great with wedges. I actually don't even carry anything above a um, nine iron O than my 56 degree for a sand wedge. So uh, the result, you probably can do better than I can. So let's go on in. You guys can kind of see where I'm at again. Uh, for a high handicapper, I'd actually probably take all those. I should lead to a two putts. So if I'm, you know, by the green regulation, that could get me a, a bogey. All right, so let's show a bunker shot. 56 degree wedge. So in closing guys, you know, my review on these wedges again, I'm a high handicapper, so take it with a grain of salt there, but I enjoy the wedges. Again, I pretty much, I'm not good with wedges. So I uh, had the 56 in my bag and other than that, um, something I need to practice on, but the cost of three of these is right now is $119. So you go out and want to get a, a Vokey wedge. One wedge is going to cost you more than that. It's probably going to be I don't know right now, $150, $200. So, you know, if you're replacing your wedges every couple of years, uh, 
to replace three, you're talking four fifty, five hundred, six hundred dollars, or one nineteen. So, if you're a high handicapper, you like bomb tech, you're looking for just a quality wedge. Uh, again, you can't custom fit, but just something to use and play and have fun with. Man, these things are great. As is the whole bomb tech brand. So, uh, this is on the wedges. Get down in those comments below. Let me know would you play bomb tech, and let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel. Thank you guys for checking out JP Goff.